I think you'll find this room very accommodating, Professor Foster. There's even room for a bookshelf over there. My dead husband, Harry, never had a need for books. He sunk his money into porter potties. Pumped out a small fortune. How industrious of him. Must have made you quite happy. Sure he did. By dying. You know, he may have gotten rich, but uh, he wasn't a refined gentleman like you. You know, you'll have to watch yourself around here, Professor. There's a lot of single ladies that would consider you quite a catch. Well, then I guess I'll have to watch myself, like you said, huh? Oh, I'll protect you from those bitches. So, um, how long do you plan on staying? Well, um, actually, I'm not sure this room is quite big enough for me. And I wouldn't want to feel closed in. Well, I already told my niece that a professor would be staying with us. You know, it's just been her and I since her parents died, all alone in this big house. Well, I'm not really sure there's enough room. Maybe if I looked about a little more. Oh, dear, there's the phone. Well, why don't you look around a little bit, make yourself at home, and uh, we'll talk a little more later. I'll be really upset if you don't stay. Okay, thank you. Around and I really like the bathrooms in this house a lot. Oh, 